Yo, yo, yo. Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about... Do I talk about something today? <laughs> today I do something. Uh, we, we talked a lot in the last few days and today is payday. Today is action. It is Wednesday, 6 p.m. No, 5 p.m. It is 5 p.m. server time and there was ID reset today in Europe. And last week was Next Rama's release, and this week is Dark Moon Fair, what means everybody goes for consumables, for, for raid consumables. And the good thing is, my bank jar is completely stacked with that stuff. So, we're gonna log in on Gold Machine, our bank jar. It has the PvP rank private because I did some pull boosting with it. And yeah. That's my private gold machine. Not much gold stored there right now. So basically nothing. This character is completely empty. Um, but we have a lot of elemental earth. Like, I don't know, how many stacks is that? Um, 14 and 3, 17 stacks. We have 10 stacks of uh, this buff food. And we have like 10 stacks of uh, Winterfall Fire Water. We have a little bit of Chill Wind Echo. We have a little bit of Winterfall Echo. We have a Frost Resistance Ring. We have a few Twilight Texts. We have a few Mana Potions. We have a Black Lotus. Elemental Sharpening Stones. And Greater Shadow Protection Potions. So today we're gonna put all that stuff into the Auction House. Usually I would not recommend that. Because um, when you dump all your stuff into the auction house, then usually uh, there's high risk that you get undercutted. But today is Wednesday and I just hope I'm gonna sell everything. Even if I would do more money when I would um, dump this stuff slowly, you know, like day by day a few of them. I just want to go ham for one night and I want to loot big from my mailbox because this feels so rewarding. So let's start. So first of all, let's let's check the prices. I already did that right now. So basically when I uh, mouse over all that stuff, then you actually see the current market value. Um, we don't use any add-ons for this stuff, you know, except Auctionator. Um, yeah, I think you don't. You don't need all that stuff, you know, to just be happy. I'm not such a such a crazy uh, auction house trader, but I just love the feeling, you know, when when you sell a lot of stuff and you loot your mailbox, and it is just, you know, you're going from like zero to I don't know, I don't know how much we're gonna make today. So you see, um, all the elemental earth we farmed in one of the last videos. Check this out, you know, when when you when you haven't seen it yet um yeah the price is 65 per so we have 20 here but you it is always useful to check where the where the big stack starts and you see that it's it's at 745 where someone dumped a lot of stacks so basically i'm pretty sure if uh i mean all that stuff here it will basically sell so we could we could put it in for seven but I have so many stacks, I just want to make sure they sell all, so we put them in for the minimum price. Uh, usually I wouldn't do that, but um, yeah, as I said today, I just want to sell everything. And that makes 10, that means 62, say 50 and 65 per stack. That should be alright. So we do that all manually. Takes a little bit of time, but I'm pretty sure it will be worth it. So most guilds start raiding in like, I don't know, like two hours, three hours. A few start earlier, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of guys will be busy buying stuff. So I'll leave it at eight hours because I don't believe I have to wait much longer. And the good thing is, if you uh, put it in that low and so many stacks, 
there's a high chance that uh, other traders will just buy all your stacks because they think or they will do a little bit more profit over time but i don't care today i just want to have some fun and i want to feel good and yeah this is this is basically it so it will be it when we loot the mailbox so I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell everything today. So let's see this one. There's also only just a few in the auction house. Um, could put it in for for two gold. I think I will do that. Um, so that would be like fifty forty. Now, if you don't know where you get these, um, I also made a video about that one. So <laughs> just just check out the channel. Um, so now we come to some more valuable items. So this goes for eighty. Could could put it in for eight twenty for sure, but or even eight fifty. There's not much going on here. I'm pretty sure uh, tomorrow they will probably sell for more than ten again. Last week they were like. 15 and yeah so let's put them in and this is 80 let's make it this 50 and there we go the good thing on the winter for fire water is that it costs no uh, deposit so basically you can put that always in for free that makes it also very good for for flipping like buying low and selling high I have no clue if this sells so high I'm not sure. I would put it in for 100. I'm not sure if people buy that stuff for 5 gold. I'm, I don't think so. But who knows, right? So let's put it in for 100. I have really... I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it for 100. <laughs> but let's see. Uh, probably there are some guilds and they are just desperate to kill Saffiron. You need them for the Frost uh, Resistance Echo? So probably I should uh, put them in lower numbers, but, but perhaps a guild will uh, move in and buy them all. Uh, also no deposit cost, so also very good for flipping. Um, yeah, let's go with this. I really don't think that these will sell. <laughs> let's see, Winterfall, Firewater, uh, Echo I mean. Um, I think one gold is pretty good here. So basically 20, 19, 50, and 20. They should sell. They I sold them before and they sell really good usually. So now we come to the cross resistance ring. Um, I don't know. Probably 115. Sounds reasonable, but I, I doubt that anybody will buy it. But we will see. Um, now this one, uh, 12 gold. 12 gold sounds reasonable. So that makes 60, yep. Oh, 58, 50, 60. 
three stacks. And we have the elemental sharpening stone. Uh, is that? I don't know what the bidding price is here. I have to. If I put a lower, this is quite interesting. Yeah, there are so many at fifteen. Um. The cheapest one is usually the one that has the lowest bidding price. So I will probably like just go for fourteen fifty and it's twenty nine. So twenty eight and twenty nine. That should be alright. That's so fourteen fifty. I could go a little bit higher, let's say ninety twenty nine fifty. I'm good with that. Yeah. So now we come to the Black Lotus, mm, 84, that is a no-brainer. Just want to be low on this one, the lowest actually. Well, let's say 10, but this all says 100%. Um, let's see the next one, encrypted twilight texts, two gold should sell. So, 34, that means 33 and 34. And then we have some mana potions that was also like a buff for gold. Might go up. Oh, it's already five gold. Okay. That went up. I, I scanned it earlier, like basically 10 minutes ago, and it was like 460. Now it's already five, so. Let's put it in for five. That means here 20, 25, 24, 50, and 25. And then we have the other one, and that is basically 15. Let's see, 360, that is 720, um, 7, 720. And then we have here, send one meat, that is, I don't sell this one because um, the, the final product uh, sells for like two gold. So yeah, I don't, I don't sell for that low. And this is also just cheap. Yeah, we have so much stuff now in the inventory, uh, in the auction house, and nothing left in the inventory basically. We had seven gold, um, we paid like three gold to put all that stuff in the auction house, and I guess I just go AFK now, go to bed, go to sleep, and come back in like six hours or whatever, and then we'll see what's what's going on here. So I'll see you guys later. So 15 minutes have passed since I sold my first item and you can see what's going on here, right? I mean, <laughs> this is basically after 15 minutes and I'm pretty sure we're gonna sell all the rest as well. Um, you can see it also in the chat. This is when I logged in and I just scrolled through and you see how fast it goes. Absolutely crazy. and. What happens usually is that uh, yeah, when someone comes and sees uh, so many stacks, uh, people start buying that stuff, you know, like like all together, and it's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, and <laughs> I'm really excited to loot the mailbox later when everything is gone. This is this is insane. I think I've never done such a such a big sell out in, in World of Warcraft Classic never before. And I think this is basically um I mean most of the elemental earth is from just one session from one ten hour grind. And um the the fire water I usually get when I farm Winter Saber. Uh, I'm on my second character there and I'm not even halfway through. So and I already sold like over the course of last year or last few months like a really huge load of of winterfall fire water and 
it's it's coming naturally you know when you farm winter saber you get so many of these especially when you have control of the of the chief and the cave then it goes crazy and the echo is also like it it comes again and this is basically what i uh, what i get after like i don't know like two weeks or whatever without even paying attention this is just a side product nice my character is still here uh people tend to to run to the mailbox you see also that the mailbox symbol bugs um this is just mailboxes on the map there is no no little ladder on my on my mini map even when we know that we sold a lot of stuff so let's take a look and then we see what we sold i don't know what if there's anything left in the auction house there's quite a lot left in the auction house but you see this i'm surprised that this sold yeah 100 gold per stack that is absolutely crazy um yeah we still have like i don't know a few stacks elemental art but it's not that much right it's like i don't know um this is 10 i don't know how much this jumps no it's it's i don't know probably it's a lot what we still have there Four stacks only sold. Um, we can restack them or re re put them in for like uh, six gold per stack. That will be still insane. Like I don't know, eight hundred, close to nine hundred gold. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna do this. Um, because I wanna sell that stuff, right? So just to see how much we can make in one day. Just from the auction house. I'm surprised that the black lotus didn't didn't sell. Um, we will put them in again. Uh, Crypto twilight texts also. We will put them in again. And that one, you see, how many are there now? It's absolutely insane. I will completely underprice that one. And uh, yeah, only one stack of this is left. Um, so let's re put that in to the auction house as well. So let's see how much we loot from the mailbox. Um, I think it will be huge. But as I said, we still have like 900 gold. What we can still make, yeah, or even more. My inbox is full. This is also nice. So let's start looting. Open it all. You see how much gold I have now. Four gold. I had seven before I started this, and it took like three gold to put everything into the auction house. So let's go. Oh, there's still quite a lot of stacks there we go look at the gold look at oh goodness look at the gold look at the gold and there's still stuff in there yeah so it will be more um so a little trick is to leave the mailbox and just type reload usually it would take like 30 seconds to auto refresh but we want to loot this a little bit faster so there it is again so we are now at almost 2000 gold and i think we can Probably crack three thousand if we if we get a little bit lucky. Have to sell that ring through. I would completely underprice it, and we will see. Um, so let's do the same thing again. Um, open inventory and let's check out the prices. I think for the for the let's start here with this one. Um, one eighty is good, I guess. Um, no, we still get 200. Oh my goodness, this is insane. The so 180 times 20, I'm a little bit... I have to be careful that I don't do any mistakes because I'm still a bit tired or dizzy. I just woke up, so... Um, 180 is 36, I guess. Is that true? I think so. So let's just do this. I think the other ones we had in for 40. Um, so we have... 12 available 114 i will put that in for for 85 uh, i just want to throw it out mm, now let's do 86 let's do a weird price sometimes people just start buying you know they see the opportunity and they see round numbers they think oh this guy has like 10 more of these rings but in reality yeah. We we'll put it in for exactly six, so it should be so sixty, um, fifty-eight, fifty, and sixty. 
um, eight hours. I just want to make sure that everything sells. I just want to have a big payday today. And then my inventory is empty that I can farm again because selling a little bit undercut is better than, you know, just slowing down and farming because yeah, your inventory is full and you can't stockpile anymore. So, and you will love there's so much more stuff, you know, like that you that you make by just playing the game. And yeah, when you farm Winter Saber, the, the Winterfall Firewater, it comes in like crazy, you know. Of course, sometimes people um they they farm there, they grind there, but um, during morning hours it's so empty. And you know, if you spend a lot of time there, you have to when you farm Winter Saber, 840 quests then um yeah you sooner or later you you have access to that whole village and yeah mobs drop very consistently that stuff so same with echo you know like when you go with four chars through these chillwinds uh you know shard tooth and chimeras then you get that chillwind echo really really fast uh, let's see, um, Black Lotus, I said we, we underprice again, like 80. Mm, 50 and 80. I just, I just want to get everything out, you know, like I just want to have the good feeling that everything sold. Um, we're going to do it for, um, what is this, 31? Let's, let's do it for like 29 or whatever. I run now to my mailbox, loot the last stuff, and then we see how much we made. Um, we are already at 925 minus 7 what we had early. So this is the last last few things. One stack elemental earth, the twilight text sold, the black lotus sold, and the children echo what went for a crazy amount of gold. So let's loot this stuff and... We got 2,276, what ends up with like 2,269. I think for one day, like Wednesday, you know, next Ramas, heavy sale, then I think it's 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 kind of okay. Um, I expected a little bit more, but keep in mind we have like a few stacks of Elemental still in auction house and yeah. Usually they would sell for a bit more than 60. That means now we have we have more than 10 stacks there. Uh, let's see, I think 13 it was. Um, let's see. Yeah, 13 stacks, so 60 that is, as I said, like could be potentially like 900 gold if we do it right. And that would be more than 3k on one day but unfortunately we didn't sell that we will do it next time or yeah we will do it next time i just put that all i take it all out of the auction house again um we keep it for the next big sale day um let's see this one as well and this one too. So we will use the weekend and the rest of this ID that just started to um, to fill this bank again completely and we will keep the gold here and then we will see next week how much we make there and I mean the, the gold can only go up there's no way it goes down so I hope you enjoyed this video um, so see you next time, right? <laughs> you know what to do.